Weight loss surgery has been a boon to people who suffer from morbid obesity, but millions of Americans who struggle with their weight can't qualify for bariatric surgery because they essentially aren't big enough. Now a new clinical trial is about to get underway for a medical device that may offer hope to people who are overweight or obese and that doesn't require any surgery. The BioEnterix Intragastric Balloon System, or BIB, will be the subject of a new study to begin soon in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. With the BIB system, a surgeon inserts a silicone balloon into the patient's stomach through the patient's mouth using an endoscope. Similar to a breast implant procedure, the balloon is then inflated with saline using a removable tube. The inflated balloon fills up most of the stomach and limits the amount of food the patient can eat. We recently spoke with Dr. Adam Smith, head surgeon at Fort Worth Lap Band, who is one of the doctors selected to participate in the clinical trial. Uh, the purpose or the niche for this particular device in weight loss are for people who aren't large enough or heavy enough to qualify for a weight loss operation like a lap band or a, a gastric bypass, but yet they're still heavy enough that they need to lose some weight. The bib or, or intragastric balloon device is placed through the mouth, no incision whatsoever. It's a completely endoscopic procedure and it is left in for six months. This gives the person that chooses this system the opportunity to change their lifestyle over a prolonged period of time, lose a significant amount of weight, although not quite as huge amount of weight as someone with a bypass or a band loses, and hopefully by the end of the six month period of time, they've made the necessary adjustments in their lifestyle to keep the weight off at that time. During the clinical trial, the BIB device will be tested on a group of potential weight loss surgery patients in the North Texas area. Half the participants will be chosen at random to receive the BIB and the other half will not receive the implant. Both groups will eat identical low calorie diets and attend regular sessions with dietitians and counselors. Whether you get the device or not, you're going to lose weight, or at least that's our presumption. What we're trying to find out is are the people that have the device going to have more success than the people that don't? We'll be sure to keep you posted on the results.